again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that was sent by Derek. So Derek says this, he says, Hi, just seen the movie on your guitar pick and really enjoyed it. The question I have is I had about a 10 year gap from playing guitar and have been playing the ukulele for the last year and now bought myself an acoustic guitar and using my finger for playing but I'd like to start using a pick. Would you say that all you said on your video about picks applies to the acoustic guitar? Okay, that's a really good question. I assume the video in question was one of something like um, my journey in 13 picks or something like that. I'll put a link to it in the information section down there. Um, that was actually written very much from a perspective as me as a, uh, an electric guitar player. Now, I've got acoustic guitars, I've got ukuleles, and cigar boxes and whatnot, but generally I see myself as a, an electric guitar player. And so I think about your question. Derek, it made me realise that my approach to picks on acoustic is actually completely different to my approach with picks on electric. I think everything that follows, I need to kind of preface it with a, a bit of a health warning, a bit of a disclaimer that picks and your pick choice is an incredibly personal choice. It's very subjective. What works for me might completely not work for you, or it there might be quite a lot of like my what appeals to me and my approach to pick choice actually overlaps with you. It, I, I don't know you, I don't know your playing style, like sort of instruments you're going to be playing, like string gauges and, and, and style you're going to be playing and whatnot. So the best I can kind of give you is like my personal perspective and give you a few things to think about. So going back to it's like my choice of, of picks on electric guitar, I used to use I sort of started with just a regular celluloid pick, then I spent an awful lot of time with Ditter like Bowen, that 0.96mm Dell rig, it's got a little bit of give to it, but for the past good number of years now I've been playing much thicker picks, playing things like Timber Tones, um, Gravity picks, uh, like their acrylic ones, and recently rather fallen in love with the Howling Monkey uh, Tagua Nut picks, which are really good, but they're relatively thick and no give to them at all, and I kind of understand a little bit more about about why I choose the picks that I do, having had a very long discussion and a very interesting discussion with John Tron Davidson from the Heavy Rapid Plectrum blog. That video, that interview is also on the YouTube channel, so I'll put a link to that in the information section below. If you can spare it an hour of your life, watch it because it'll give you some real insights into the world of picks. Because when I was talking to John, he, he said something which kind of gave me a bit of a light bulb moment, and it was about the, we, talk, we were talking about like different pick materials and thicknesses and whatnot. He, and he made the point that if you've got a pick that's got some, some give to it, some, some flexibility, it, it really affects your, your picking dynamics because if you want to like really dig in hard and pick, pick hard against the string, if you've got a thin pick, it's going to flex and it's going to bend, then it's a bit like playing a, an electric guitar with a compressor or a limiter. The, there's like a, a, a limit as to how loud you can pick. You know, you go in harder and harder, all that's going to happen is the, the pick is going to flex more rather than transferring the energy from your picking hand into the strings. And as I asked, that kind of the advantage that I get from playing thicker picks that gives me more control of my picking dynamics because I realise I do use like, pick dynamics quite a lot when I'm playing. So I kind of understand that. Thing I, so I, I don't quite understand, and I think your question there has kind of made me go off and I want to try and understand a bit more about why I've chosen the picks that I have for, uh, for an acoustic. Is For acoustic, I've always favoured something thinner than I would choose for an electric guitar. Uh, so while I was playing like a 0.96mm Delrin or just like a heavy gauge celluloid pick on an electric, I'd be playing probably a, a very light gauge uh, celluloid pick on an acoustic, something that's got a lot more give to it. Now it's really good for strumming because it just kind of follows follows through with the picking action and it makes for a very smooth smooth picking action. But when you come to pick single notes, the the pick's got some some flexibility to it. And as you, you pick a note, it's not a case of the pick hits the strings and then that's it. The pick bends, strikes the string, the string moves, and then the pick kind of recovers its shape. So there's a little bit more going on before you can you can play another another note. I, I don't, and, and that's probably accentuated as well because on an acoustic I'm playing heavier strings than I play on an electric. 
so there's more there, more mass, there's more metal in the strings on an acoustic to to impact on the on the pick. So it seems a little counterintuitive that I want to use a thin pick on an acoustic. Nowadays I'm playing, like I said, quite heavy picks on electric. My pick of choice for uh, an acoustic is probably like a, just a medium gauge, probably like about a 075 millimeter uh, celluloid pick. I'm not particularly fussy with acoustic picks, but these picks, you know, for, for strumming, for strumming chords. got a nice sort of action I like the way that they have a little bit of give to them which is completely unlike how I want a pick to feel when I'm playing on an electric guitar and likewise for uh, for you know picking out single notes it's got more give to it it's, it's, it's a picking experience to be honest if I was getting that on an electric guitar I wouldn't enjoy but I feel that it works on an acoustic and it's kind of I, I don't quite understand like why why I'm happy having something so completely different on acoustic you know certainly you know, I noticed this the other night I was playing um, playing acoustic because I play it just like, like finger style not particularly well finger style uh, with acoustic my, my finger pick techniques not not particularly awesome uh, but I was, I was just playing acoustic the other night and s wanted to play something using a pick. So I reached over and the first pick that came to hand was one of my Gravities, which is not the thickest pick, it's not the heaviest pick that I own, it's about a 1.5mm. And it was a horrible playing experience. I just didn't like how unyielding the pick was when I was playing on an acoustic. Really strange. So I, 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 I want to try and understand, and I'm going to go back and fully watch that with that interview again that I did with John John Davidson to, 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 to kind of understand a bit more about well, what is going on with with picks um, because there is just there's just so many variables in the way that they affect your your playing so I guess to answer your question Derek um, no what I said about my pick choice was about electric guitar not acoustic and my approach on acoustic is completely different now, whether my approach on electric would be like your approach on electric and my approach on acoustic would be like your approach on acoustic, I, I don't know. Like I say, it's very subjective. This is 50% of your interface to the guitar. The picking hand is 50%. The fretting hand is 50%. So it's such an important factor. Uh, it's worth experimenting. You know, picks aren't aren't crazy expensive you can go down down the rabbit hole of like boutique picks and start spending an awful lot of money but it doesn't have to be that way you can get a lot of variety in terms of materials shapes sizes thicknesses and whatnot for a relatively small outlay so if you I was going to say I was about to say you go to your local music store but you, you don't feel like me you're probably under lockdown at the minute and you can't just pop down to your local music store uh, but when you have got that opportunity uh, to, to go to a music store, you know, for a few pounds or a few dollars, you can come away with a good selection of picks. Just try them out and, and see what works for you and think about what you're getting from the playing experience. The things to consider is how does the pick fit in your hand? And for there, we're talking about the shape of it, the size of it, the thickness of it. Is if there's a grip on it, you know, it's kind of how it sits, how it sits in the hand, and you're thinking about how the pick interacts with the string. So there, we're thinking about the the material comes it becomes a factor, but particularly the thickness, how how yielding is it, and you think about well, when you you're picking the string and you feel the pick flexing, or not, do you like or dislike how that feels, and then might, might influence your decision: do you want to go for something thicker, or do you want to go for something thinner? And lastly, the thing to think about, and this is particularly true on acoustic, it matters with electric, but it's particularly true on acoustic, is the, ma the material will influence the sound. If I play an acoustic guitar with um, this, the celluloid pick versus a wooden pick versus a bone pick or um, like a, an acrylic or something like that, they're going to have different sounds. The, sh the harshness as they hit the string, um, will have more more bite or softer tone or a warmer tone. It's really difficult to describe sound sometimes, but when you try different pick materials, you'll realise with an acoustic guitar, everything that 
it happens here it goes into your ears with electric it, it's kind of diluted down a, a quite a bit because of you, the sounds going through going through a pickup so you lose some of the acoustic properties the purely acoustic properties of the pick but with an electric um, sorry with an acoustic the the difference between different materials is much more noticeable so you know bear that in mind as well the, 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 the harder materials how think about how they attack the strings and how the sound versus the softer materials and, and, and so on so there's an awful lot to think about I probably haven't really given you any more guidance as to this is the sort of pick that you want to choose or to pick if you pardon the pun but hopefully I've given you a few things to think about there's an awful lot out there be prepared to experiment and spend a bit of time. Like I said, it's 50% of your interface to the guitar, so it's worth investing a little bit of time and a little bit of money to find something that, that works for you. You'll have a more enjoyable playing experience, you'll find it more comfortable, and hopefully you'll be more creative as a, as a result. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful and interesting. If you did, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it, really found it interesting and want to see more, then if you click on subscribe, then you will see the other videos that I post onto the YouTube channel. You're welcome to leave a comment below, but if, like Derek, you've got a specific question that you want to ask me, I don't always see comments left on videos, so if you want to ask me a question, if you go here and fill that form in, question comes direct to me so I can see it and I'll get around to answering it for you in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.